Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss min-max and z-score normalization with a simple numerical example. Uh, here uh, we have been given 5 data points like uh, 1000, 2000, 3000, 5000 and uh, 9000. I want to convert this particular data uh, using uh, min-max as well as z-score normalization. So first we will try to understand uh, min-max normalization. Uh, this is the data given to us as I said earlier. The, in this case the minimum value is uh, 1000 and maximum value is uh, 9000. The new value or you can say that uh, after applying uh, min-max normalization we will get the value as V. The formula in this case is X minus uh, min divided by max minus uh, min in this case. So we will go on putting these particular values. Uh, we know min, we know max. We, we put this particular X uh, in the first case 1000, second case 2000 and so on. So if I put uh, 1000 as X value and uh, min and max in this equation I will get 0. So that is nothing but the minimum value 1000 is minimum and uh, I got 0 for that one. Now second iteration I will put X as 2000 and if I solve this particular equation I will get uh, point, uh, 0.125 in this case. Similarly in the third iteration I will put uh, 3000 here I will get the value as uh, 0.25. In the fourth iteration, I will put 5000 here, I will get uh, 0.5 as the value. In uh, fifth iteration, I will get uh, 9000 as the value and I will get the value as 1 in this case. So 9000 is maximum, that's the reason I got 1 here and 1000 is minimum, I got 0 here and remaining all are in the range of 0 to 1 in this case. So the corresponding uh, values or norm normalized values for each of these data points is shown in this case over here. Similarly, what I do is I will try to apply uh, z-score normalization and I will try to convert this particular data point as normalized values. In uh, z-score normalization, we use this particular equation that is z is equal to x minus mu divided by uh, delta. Mu is the mean and uh, delta is the standard deviation in this case. So first we calculate uh, mu and then uh, delta that is mean and standard deviation. Then we will go on changing this particular value of x that is 1000, 2000 and so on. We will get the normalized value in this case. So mean is always equal to sum of all these particular data points divided by the number of data points. So 1000 plus 2000 plus 3000 plus 5000 plus 9000 divided by 5. So which is equal to 4000 here. Standard deviation, uh, we know the equation as uh, square root of uh, summation of xi minus mu bracket square divided by n minus 1. So xi is this particular data point, mu is already calculated, n is the number of data points. If I solve this equation, I will get the standard deviation. So 1000 minus mu that is uh, 4000 bracket square plus 2000 minus 4000 bracket square because 1000 and 2000 are the data points here. Similarly, 3000 minus 4000 bracket square. 5000 minus 4000 bracket square, 9000 minus 4000 bracket square divided by n minus 1 that is 5 minus 1. I have to take the square root of this particular value. I will get 2489.97 in this case. So we got the value of mean, we got the value of standard deviation. Now we need to put this uh, x as well in this particular z equation so that I will get the normalized values in this case. So I will put this particular values. In the first case x is uh, 1000, mu is 4000. Uh, standard deviation is 2489.97. If I solve it, I will get minus 1.204 here. Similarly, in the second iteration, I will put x is equal to 2000. I will get minus 0 0.803. In the third iteration, I will put 3000 here. I will get minus uh, 0.4016. In the fifth iteration, I will get uh, I will put 5000 here. I will get 0 0.4016. It's a positive 4016. In the fifth iteration, I will put the 9000 here, I will get uh, 2.008 in this case. So the corresponding normalized values for this particular data points are shown in this particular table. So this is a very simple process you can follow to normalize or to get the uh, min-max normalized and z-score normalized data points in this case. So this is very important uh, uh, calculation or the concept in any machine learning algorithm. Uh, we have to convert our given data points into either uh, min-max normalization or zersko normalization and then we have to continue with the next part of any machine learning algorithm. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.